everyone. Uh, so we're here today with Sensei Tim. So uh, as you already know, we've been doing little staff interviews, so you get to find out a little bit about us and what we get up to in our spare time, okay, and also how we got into ZKS. So, Sensei Tim, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very good. Right, so first question, Sensei Tim, um, is what got you into martial arts and how long have you been training? Well, the answer is pretty simple to the first bit. Jackie Chan and watching uh, his films like Who Am I, Armour of God, all these cool, funky, goofy martial arts films. Okay. That's what really got oh, me. Right. In. Interesting. So how long have you been doing martial arts yourself rather than obviously that's what got you um, into martial arts? About 12 years. I think I started just after, it was just before my 12th birthday and I'm now 24. So yeah, about 12 years. Give and okay. take a few months. Cool. Uh, uh, so, I mean, how long have you been with ZKS? I mean, that's... All the time. All that time. All 12 years. Started, first martial arts club I started at um, and yeah, just kept training ever since. Okay, so, excellent. So, uh, w what classes do you normally attend and uh, what are they at ZKS? Uh, I do Mondays at Hadnam. Um, so, that, that's working, I mean, as in oh, training Oh, training yourself. wise, yeah. Uh, I attend the, the Muay Thai session at the cabin here on a Monday evening uh, with my fellow co worker, Sensei Lucas. Uh, and then, obviously, I run slash also train in my adult class on a Friday evening over at William Harding. Okay, nice. And uh, so, what, what do you actually do at ZKS? Um, I instruct, uh, I take classes and I teach obviously the children. Um, yeah. Okay, no, and uh, that one. It's <laughs> an odd one. Like, uh, it's hard to explain stuff when you actually get to thinking about it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, the next question I've got for you is um, what aspects do you like about working as a martial arts instructor? And, uh, well, especially at ZKS. It's so unnormal. Um, I'm going to use that term, unnormal. Everyone looks at me like I'm daft, or, and everyone looks at me like, I've got three heads when I tell them what I do, and they always they always seem like, oh my god, that's actually a job. Like, and then the next one they ask is, it's full time. I'm like, yes, six days a week, which is uh, which is great. It's always fun to see that surprised look on people's faces, um, and also just gives me a lot more freedom. It's just like it's not even a job. It's not a job. It's just what I love doing. So, and what was the uh, the most surprising thing that you found about this job? Um, the self growth. I don't think I was. I don't think I. I started out nearly as confident as I am now with speaking in public, running gradings, all that, and that's, and I think that's definitely tr trickled over into my personal life, and I, and I don't think I would have, I don't think any other job would have got me right, uh, got me here mm. like this has. Yeah, that's so. nice to know. That's nice to know. So you think um, not only doing martial arts in its own right, but actually being an instructor has helped you? Yeah, definitely. Public speaking and learning how to explain. Uh, stuff to people who have no idea what you're talking about is is quite a good skill to have and I think it it definitely allows you to be more articulate in other er elements of life and know exactly what you want as well. So uh, obviously we know you like martial arts, okay, uh, yeah. but what other hobbies or interests have you got outside of ZKS? Uh, it's going to sound really, really sad, but I do quite enjoy gardening, a little bit of gardening. Uh, Airsoft, that's a pretty fun, that's a pretty good pastime I've got when I just, get there. Just so that listeners know, what is airsoft? A uh, load of grown men running around the woods shooting each other with BB guns. That's the easiest way to describe it. Um, and with a, quite a bit of pain involved as well. But that's part of the sport, that's part of the fun I guess. And then uh, obviously, like I said, a little bit of vegetable gardening. I quite enjoy that. So that sounds really completely off the kilter. And then also camping. Camping's a particular one, particular favourite of mine. I love ending up ending up in Snowdon, in Snowdonia, uh, at the top of Trafan or Snowdon. Been there a few times now. It's great fun. So uh, the next thing is, what what do you think we do really well at ZKS? Um, to feel everyone in, to, to make feel uh, uh, the ability to make everyone feel included, no matter whether you're even you're not personally that great at martial arts, you still feel like you have something to do and you can still get good at something that's I think we do better than other clubs and I think uh, we yeah definitely especially when I was coming up through the ranks when I was a mid teenager and stuff I definitely wasn't the best at I wasn't overly gifted at some things but and neither were some people around me but we all still got along got together still helped each other still picked each other up after we fell down numerous times in various exercises so um, yeah a little bit of so KS has a, has a good habit of building a little bit of camaraderie with your fellow students, which is nice. 
Excellent. And so, obviously, that kind of leads on to the next thing, really. Okay, is, is what advice would you give someone who is new to ZKS martial arts, uh, whether it be a parent or whether it be a child? What advice would you give them? Don't worry about what other people think. That's. It. I know it sounds very cliched, but it is true. Um, even to this day, I still mess up on new techniques that I'm learning, and I, I still get a little self-conscious sometimes, but the idea is you're here to have fun. You're here to learn, um, um, and people worry so much about what other people think about them that they get, that gets in the way, that holds themselves back. And I see it right down from, the, from almost the youngest to three-year-olds all the way up to my adult class. They, they just, they're just worried about their, peer, their particular peer group thinking of them. And everyone else, they've started exactly where you were and felt the exact same way. So, Tim, my uh, second to last question is, what advice would you give a parent that's bringing their children to ZKS? Um, if they're new, that would be a good start. So what advice would you give them? Um, certainly, uh, obviously, naturally supportive of your child. Please make sure they bring a bottle of water. That's a big one. Um, and uh, and try and sounds bad, but try and remember that little one will progress in their own time, definitely. So uh, occasionally I get parents who 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 are amazed at the progress their children have made because they didn't have enough confidence in their child. But then also on the flip side, I've also had parents think their child should progress quicker than what they actually are. That's uh, that's a big one for me. Um, understand that we all progress in our own way. As long as you're moving forward, it's all that matters. Okay. And then uh, lastly, Tim, I mean, have you got any other any advice or comments or anything else extra that are not in the questions that I've answered today? Um, no, not at the top of my head. No, I haven't. Okay. So, uh, so, so in terms of your classes then, Tim, just to recap, so obviously you do a fair amount each week um, and obviously you teach from, from our little dragons group, which are for three to four year olds, the right way through to the adult classes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to meet Tim and work with Tim, um, I'm sure you'll love to have him in your class. Oh, yes. And uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask him um, regarding the classes. Obviously, uh, he'll do his best to answer them for you. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to add there, Tim. Um, as I said, you know, we, we do our best in trying to make sure we feel everyone is, is welcomed. And uh, Tim, you do a great job of that. So uh, it's definitely worth, worth a visit. We're out. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.